Hello, hello my beautiful people, how are you? Today I'm going to try out more She Glam makeup because I did try their makeup before. So my main focus in today's video is the creamy, what? How is this called? Skin Fluencer Full Coverage Foundation Balm. I saw a lot of people talking about this and wow. I was intrigued so I went and I bought it so this is my main focus in today's video but I also have the primer birthday whatever this is called and also I have the face powder so this is what we are going to do in today's video I am so excited if you guys are new to my channel hi my name is Vera and I post a lot of makeup tutorials hair, nails, tutorials, clothing haul, jewelry haul, all that good stuff. So if you guys like what you see, hit the red button, ring the bell, activate all the notifications so you can get notified every single time I'm posting a new video on my channel. And without any further ado, let's just jump into the video because, oh my goodness. I did bought three shades of the same foundation because right now I have a little bit of tan and I wanted to be sure then sorry so I bought my pasty white shade for the winter and what's nice like you go on their website and you type your foundation like let's say this is your favorite foundation so you go on their website and you type in your favorite foundation and the shade and they will give you a matching shade which is so crazy thoughtful because you know it's very tricky when you go and buy makeup online because what if you don't get your shade that's super annoying so they have this on their website so you can find your perfect matching shade so I bought three shades as we can see all the products are very well packed so I'm not afraid that they broke during the shipping or all that stuff uh, also, I want to mention that I don't know how, but this package arrived in like 10 days, which is absolutely crazy. Let's go with the primer. You're born beautiful. <sighs> um, I don't know if you guys can see that. It says you're born beautiful. Okay, we love some uh, inspirational quotes. She glam. So they have two shades of this primer. I went with the clear one because people said that this one is a little bit more hydrating. The other one is for oily skin. So yeah, I bought them. Debating from the reviews they have on their website. It came with a little spoon, which is nice. And again, the packaging feels very high quality. Not gonna lie. Like, look at this. This looks expensive okay and it was like 5.99 like look at this packaging this looks high end anyway before i apply all this makeup on my face you guys i always mention this in my videos so if you guys want to save even more money on Shein website i do not have an affiliate link or coupon code i do not make any money from Shein uh, website so i just want to help you okay because i figure out i figure out this by myself so first of all go download their app go check in every single day they'll give you points just for doing that and then if you go and buy uh, products from them go leave reviews because again they will give you points for doing that when you go and purchase from them make sure you use coupons okay so go find the best coupon that fits your order and use coupons again if you download their app they will give you coupons every single week like at the beginning of the week and they also have games which i find so funny if you play their games again they will give you coupons and points so that's how you save even more money when you purchase from shein i always mention this in my videos so if you guys are new to my channel this is how I save even more money on Shein. Let me just give you a quick example. This primer is $5.99 and I end up paying $4.79. Okay? This foundation is $7.49 and I end up paying $5.99. This is in the shade Sand. <gasps> what? It came with a little pouch? This is crazy and it has instructions. There's like a little card with all the info you need to know about their foundation. This is crazy, she glam. Oh my goodness, this feels so luxurious. 
this feels so freaking bomb and it came with a very thick little pouch i find this super crazy of course it's sealed wow it looks I dropped that thing let me tell you they put effort into the details okay she glam I see you like we have the expiration date on the boxes also on the product itself which is extremely helpful we don't have an expiration date on the primer but you have the batch number I don't know if that helps or not and then again we have the expiration date on the powder what else do you want? What else do you want? <sighs> wow, this is honestly mind-blowing. Like, I'm shocked right now. I'm uh, speechless. So this is the Duo Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder. So you have two powders in one. And I went with the shade Translucent. And this is how it looks. Oh my goodness. She's thick. She looks gorgeous. Okay? Like the packaging. Okay. So this is the pressed powder, you have a mirror, this is so satisfying. <laughs> so this is how it looks. I know it says to apply the foundation with a brush, but you know me, I don't like to use a brush. So I'm going to use their sponge. I feel like this is the best one, in my opinion. Okay, this is very similar to the um, Real Techniques one. So yeah, I'm going to go with this primer. Looks kind of crazy. So I don't need the spoon. I don't know how much should I apply. It says, get that baby soft, flawless skin you were born with thanks to our pigment perfecting primer gel. The first step in your makeup routine, it forms a fine layer on your skin to soften, brighten and even out your complexion. Say bye-bye to dark spots and hyperpigmentation and hello to a smooth canvas that sets your glam it got kind of yellowish but i don't really mind that what i don't like is the fact that it sits weird on my skin i am afraid it will affect how foundation will go on top of this you see that like you see that look at my eyebrows i got that in my <laughs> lord have mercy yeah uh, it looks awkward. This is a no. This is a major no. But I'm going to go with foundation on top because... Um, I mean, I'm just assuming this primer is made to use with this foundation. I don't know. They don't claim that. So this was the primer. I'm not a fan. What do you think? Let me know down below. What do you think? Uh, it feels very moisturizing not gonna lie and also it has this tacky finish i don't know what to say about the discoloration and blemishes like they are still there <sighs> yeah let's go with foundation this is sand wow yeah i feel like that's a good match i think one is cool tone and one is warm or neutral yeah i'm going to go with sand or maybe mix them both what do you think no i think sand matches my neck better so i'm going to go we 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 i'm going to go with we i'm going to go with sand this feels creamy thick like the consistency is crazy and it looks hella sexy like i don't want to touch this Yeah, this feels very thick. She Glam Full Coverage Foundation Balm. Long wearing, smoother looking and non K. 
caking get high coverage and an instantly flawless application faster than ever with a few strokes of a makeup brush. Our exclusive non-greasy formula is long wearing adapting an oil in water emulsification system which adheres to skin with a thin consistency. This is suitable for sensitive skin which I find it very very nice. Thank you so much She Glam and is free from talc, alcohol and it has non-allergenic ingredients. This looks crazy on my skin and listen I totally see the primer like it did affect it how this foundation looks because I see I see it on my forehead. Okay, but other than that, it looks glowing. It looks beautiful. I have hair. It looks so freaking beautiful. But, there's a huge but. <laughs> I already see this settling into my fine lines, wrinkles, smile lines. And my main concern when I'm using a foundation, like I want this to not settle into my lines because that's annoying probably i need to set this but i'm sure this primer is not helping so i think it's better to apply this with a brush if you like to apply your foundations with a brush i'm sure you'll get even more coverage but i am so satisfying with this coverage right now like this looks freaking insane to me and the color matches my neck so perfectly I am hella impressed right now. Oh my goodness, I don't like how my forehead looks because of the primer. This has more like a satiny, glowy finish, like a hybrid in between the two. Definitely is not matte. So I also have their concealer, but I did purchase this a while ago and this was a backup. I don't have the original one because I finished that but I think I got a different shade and this is a little bit too light for me right now Ooh, she cute she's sexy I love this holographic packaging I don't know if the camera picks it so let me just apply real quick some concealer next I'm going to set my under eyes and mostly my entire face not really my entire face but mostly where I have creases and smile lines whatever with the powder i already have this powder from them and i love it i have a backup this is the she glam natural color makeup powder it looks like this i opened this the other day you guys this is amazing and it has a little bit of color and um it's freaking amazing i don't know what else to say oh my goodness i'm losing my gems <laughs> I'm going to use the pressed powder on my under eyes exactly how they suggest and the loose powder for the rest of my face and I'm going to use their puff to apply it this is absolutely amazing let me just switch to the clean side let me just smooth out my creases insta ready face and under eye setting powder duo translucent benefits waterproof brightening and smoother looking finish matte texture pressed powder and loose powder their description is so funny so it says you and your glam have got a good thing going <laughs> don't let it fade by adding our two-in-one setting powder to your beauty routine on the top level you'll find a silky moisturizing pressed powder that uniquely made to lock in your under eye makeup and fill in any wrinkles. On the bottom level, a sheer oil absorbing loose powder to keep your face fresh and shine free from AM to PM. You guys, this is freaking insane. Like, everything looks so freaking smooth. Next I'm going to go with the loose powder. And again, I'm going to use my puff. I'm going to use this side to set uh, my forehead and the rest of my face. Looks like this. Do you guys see what I see? You see how smooth this side is?
They don't freaking lie. You guys, look at this. I have this scar. You cannot see that. Like it's barely there. Am I crazy? This looks so blurred out. My camera is dying, by the way. This looks insanely smooth. Like this, there's a scar. What kind of magic is this shiglam? Like, yeah, you can see my scar, right? From this angle. This blurred out my freaking scar. I am speechless right now. You guys see how many fine lines I have on my forehead, okay? Let's see what this powder does for them. Okay, looks pretty smooth. Camera, please don't die. Wow. Oh. My. God. Am I crazy? Please tell me the truth. <laughs> Am I crazy right now? You see how flawless that looks? I mean, you can still see some lines in there, but let me just make some magic and zoom you even closer because I just figured out my camera does that. <laughs> I'm so smart. Okay, hello. Do you see how close that is? You guys. Look at my forehead. That's the primer I was telling you earlier. Look at my lines. They are filled with powder. That, 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 that's crazy. Look at my eyebrows. They look insane. I'm going to fix them. What? Look at my nose. Like, that's the primer. I need to try this foundation without this primer because it looks kind of crazy, but still... It looks good, if that makes sense. Look at my nose hair. Don't look at that. <laughs> Don't look at that, okay? Where is the line? Like, where are my smile lines? You guys see that? Like, where are my smile lines? Right now is uh, 1 p.m. Because why not? I'm not an early bird, as I always mention in my videos. Even the camera is speechless, like she doesn't want to focus on my flawless skin. <laughs> so I'm going to have this makeup on my face for the rest of the day. I have to be places today. It sounds so fancy. I don't leave my house. I need to go and buy bread before they close. And also in the evening, I'm going to go to my uh, vet to buy my cat pills because she's an addict <laughs> i'm just kidding so yeah i need to be outside i will see how that goes for me because it's so freaking hot hello beautiful so i have a little update for you right now is 4 35 so i think i finished doing my face makeup at 1 p.m if i'm not wrong Mm, i took a shower i went to buy bread i did my hair i had lunch I splashed my face with water in the shower, not intentionally, so I don't see anything, like my makeup is intact, like how it was after I finished doing my makeup. Uh, I just noticed that this foundation looks a little bit more matte, I mean it looked pretty glowy and now it looks a little bit more matte, it doesn't feel matte or tight on my skin it just looks a little bit more matte or maybe it's the powder but i didn't apply any powder on my cheekbones on my jawline i just focused the powder on my t-zone and around my mouth honestly this makeup looks exactly how it looked like four hours and a half ago which is very impressive look at my forehead look at my forehead this is crazy this is insane also my smile lines are picking through but not that much like they are barely there and now you can see a little bit more my my you can see a little bit my scar it was blurred out earlier so i'm not crazy this powder 
it has some type of magic in it. I don't know what it is. So yeah, I'm going to finish doing my makeup right now because I want to film my TikTok. But I wanted to update you guys. So as I said, it's 4.30 right now and this makeup looks absolutely beautiful. I went to buy bread. It's not that hot outside. <laughs> so I thought it, it would be a little bit hotter. Alright you guys, so it's so hot in here. I opened the window and it's like storming outside also there's supposed to be like a fiesta in my pueblo but it's like raining and tormenta so they're like warming their voices right now as you can hear anyway i'm here to tell you about uh, my makeup it's currently almost 11 pm I'm running out of air. I'm so tired. I mean, I'm not that tired. Uh, I just had dinner and now I'm eating some Pufarine. I don't know how you guys call them. Don't be shy girl. Come on grab some <laughs> I love them. So let's talk about makeup shall we? I think I'm going to close the window because she's too loud. that's better so my makeup hold up so good through the day I see my smile line speaking true but it's been like what 10 hours I don't know what happened here I don't know if you guys can see that but probably I scratched my nose with my nails also you see how oily my nostrils <laughs> like the sides of my nostrils are is insane like this never happens to me. I do get oily, oily through the day, but mostly on the bridge of my nose. Now I'm kind of sweaty. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie, it's super hot in here. Let me just take this off. It's super hot in here, okay? So I'm a little bit sweaty. My stash is sweating. Regardless, the sides of my nostrils are shiny like oily oily oh my goodness i'm so oily <laughs> i can never say that because that's not true in my case i honestly feel like this is the best foundation i ever tried in my life i mean besides the maybelline superstay foundation 24 hour the original one okay don't get me wrong this kind of reminds me of that but i feel like this looks a little bit healthier if that makes sense the coverage is amazing it looked beautiful through the day i didn't i don't know i didn't notice anything bad but i feel like this primer doesn't work with this foundation and as i said in the video i'm going to try them separately but i stand by this foundation okay i can swear by it my makeup doesn't look bad right now besides my nose area that's because it got a little bit oily so i don't know if this is suitable for oily skin maybe try to set the foundation after you apply it with a mattifying powder maybe i'm going to do this because it bothers me so much okay I have a little bit of foundation transfer, just a little bit. Long story short, I love the foundation, I don't enjoy the primer. Also, as I said in the video, this powder is absolutely magical. I don't know what they put in this powder. And I don't know what to say if there's a difference in between the two powders or not, but I feel like there isn't any difference. It's just that this one came pressed and this one is loose. So I feel like it's the same product. I love this powder. I'm so happy I bought it. This is amazing. I don't know what else to say. This is amazing. If you guys want to try it, I recommend you this one. So uh, I definitely want to try the colorful ones so they can match my foundation i do recommend the foundation like i feel like this is super flawless high coverage amazing finish it looks beautiful on top of my skin i have dry skin i don't know if i mentioned this 
um, in the video but I do have pretty dry skin now that it's summer it feels a little bit more normal and as you can see I get a little bit oily around my nose wow <laughs> that's huge for me okay because during the winter this is like Sahara desert Mojave desert whatever desert you want so it looks very dry and crusty but now that it's summertime it looks a little bit more juicy <laughs> more plumped if you want to call it like that so I feel like this foundation is going to be a staple in my makeup collection also the powder as I said I'm not a fan of the primer and I think that's it just let me know what do you think let me know what you think down below if you guys tried this foundation if you tried any of the products i showed you in today's video and uh, as i said i bought more products from them so stay tuned because i'm going to do a second part kind of so oh yeah i wanted to say that i don't really like the finish of the powder because it kind of leaves you with that white ish cast and i'm not really a fan of that so that's why i want to try the colorful ones uh let me just uh see if this looks in flash like how this looks should i take a picture please don't laugh because my skin looks not that good you know it's been like 10 hours since i applied this foundation on my face i'm going to insert the picture right here <laughs> Not the most flattering picture I took, but I'm going to insert it anyway so you can see how oily my nostril looks. <laughs> and also, I see that it looks oily in this area just a little bit, but overall, I mean, from far, it looks good, okay? Up close don't look at it <laughs> let's see if the powder can fix the oily situation i have around my nose so i'm going to take the press one because it's easier for me okay and i'm going to tap yeah you can see that it kind of leaves you with this white cast so it's not completely transparent but it kind of is Okay, so yeah, my makeup looks absolutely flawless again. I'm telling you, run, don't walk. Like, look at this. This looks flawless. I don't know what else to say, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like I'm all over the place. Alrighty, so I guess that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, and I will see you guys in my next one.